Hello and welcome to Reading Bluecoat School for the under 18 Schools Vars quarter final between Reading Bluecoat on the right hand side of your screens and Wallington County Grammar School on the left hand side of your screens. David again. Touch on me! A hard man to bring down. Dexter goes himself. Is he through? Dexter's through. It's another fast start for Reading Bluecoat. Absolutely, it was a slightly nervy start from both sides. Wallington looked like they've got the upper hand in the forwards. Oh, it was the big carry from David and then, well, Dexter, it's almost as though his options ran out on him, so he thought, I'll just have a go myself then. Absolutely. And as I said last game, he's pretty quick. He, uh, the 100 metre pitch in the summer, or 100 metre track in the summer, looks like West is going to move West it now. West looks wide now, Dexter. Does he go again? No, not this time. Gives it to Heath. Heath Celtic, darting, Celtic, weaving, Celtic. just short. I want to talk to you. Wisely brings it back in. Come here. And we'll come back for a penalty. Problems. Running blue coat have a decision to make now. And the decision is to go for post, consolidate this lead. And you've got to think with Dexter's reliable boot, this is going to be 10-0. Sorry, sorry, Ten nil it is. Dexter lands the extras, and he's got all ten points in this game. Reading Bluecoat lead Wallington County Grammar ten nil. News. One of three low sick in the side. The big gun, Ian. Arrive up. Hold. That was an excellent carry, Get wasn't it? Tied the Bluecoat Blue defence in. Blue Fatter now looks wide. Watkins intercepted. Charging away goes Crooks. The intercept king, they call him. Is it going to be two and two in this competition? It is. A great interception from Cook there. He read that, didn't he? It, it was a really good carry up by uh, the, the Wallington prop in and tied that blue coat defence in. They then managed to slow that ball down a little bit, and that was enough to get Crook off the line. We well, see it here. It's fatter to Watkins, and well, Crook comes from miles back to rush up for that intercept. And you can see him looking for the defence, thinking, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Yes, you are. Matt Crook. Down to grammar school's first points of the game. The 21 minutes on the clock. And he does so. Reading Bluecoat 17, Wallington County Grammar School 3. And kicking like one as well. That's his second penalty of the game. Reduces the deficit a little bit more. It's 17-6 now. They're doing a really good job of just chipping their way back into this game as Watkins lands that penalty. Brings the scoreline to 17-9. Will Wallington get themselves across the line for the first time in this game in the final play of the half? Now come on in. Muirhead at the base. Muirhead breaks free. Looking for his 14th of the season. Getting his 14th of the season. Muirhead, the danger man at the back of the mall, and he spotted the gap on the blind side. They went safe to the front, set them all up quickly, and you can see there Muirhead getting on the ball nice and early, and he sees the mall disintegrate, charges down the blind side. Dexter's no problem for him as he charges over for Wallington. And that closed the gap from 17-0 down to 17-14. And the skipper, Watkins for Wallington, hoists it high into the winter sky and it's spilled and away down the right hand side goes Simi Bajedi tried to get him down but they can't quite do it and Bajedi well we called Reading Bluecoat fast starters but in this second half it's Wallington that are the fast starters in this second half and we see here Jason the kick goes up and we spoke at half time about that kicking game and well the confusion ensues yeah, unfortunately, Harry and Matt both got in each other's way going for the kick, didn't they? And, they, and the, the bouncing ball just popped up nicely for the winger to go in over the corner. A fantastic start for, for Wallington and uh, game on, really. Perkins, that ever-reliable option, takes it in the middle. And now Bluecoat with the first real chance to get a all of their own going. And a all they have going indeed. It's charging forward towards the line. Penalty advantage, one already with the penalty advantage now they get on the move again they're across the line and the try is awarded and at the base of that picking the ball up i think it might be that man joe smart at hooker 
time. He's uh, ex Northampton, ex England 20s. He's the forwards <laughs> coach, and uh, he's a bit of a line out fanatic, actually. Some may say a nause, but he'll be delighted to see that going forward like that. And Joe just peeling off through or getting his, himself through the middle to get that ball down. I think Zach Khan's out this side as well. They go to Khan. No, they don't. They go out the back to Watkins. Releases his option on the wing. And they do get that try. My scepticism is unfounded. It's Seb Ruiz, icy veins on the right hand, on the left hand touchline with the score. And that's three quick scores. Two for Wallington, one for Reading Bluecoat in this second half. Wow, what a calm bit of finishing there from Ruiz. Going to the corner. Looking for that, that catch and drive again, so if they can't stay down here, use up some more time as well. Smart has his hands on the ball at the tail. Once again, he scored once from this position. Can he get another for his score? They charge forward, the backs come flying in. David and Crook are joining in, up towards the try line, over the try line. The try is scored, the roars go up around the ground here. And Joe Smart has his second try of the game. The crowd going bananas. To keep his call. He's got that conversion coming up. And Jason, again, it's that driving maul. So much power coming through. And another hooker at the base, eh? Dexter does the job. And Reading Bluecoat, 32-24 ahead. Wallington County Grammar School need two scores. Watkins wants something for his side from this final few minutes, though. And he gathers, kicks the ball clear, and Reading Bluecoat are going to the semi finals. They have beaten Wallington County Grammar School 32 points to 24. And look at these scenes absolute jubilation here at Reading Bluecoat. Wallington County Grammar School, oh, so brave from 17 0 down. They fought their way into the lead. And then the game chewed and froed, but at the end, it was that man, Joe Smart,